Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Jennifer, and today we're here because we're gonna be opening up my Stitch Fix box for the month of May. So real quick, Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service for men, women, and children. You pay $20 whenever you wanna have a box styled for you. You're gonna fill out your style profile to give your measurements and likes and dislikes about fashion, and then a stylist is paired with you. He or she will help you choose five items to send to you in your box, and those items can be clothing, shoes, jewelry, purses, whatever you want. And when you fill out your profile, you can tell them the things that you want to have sent to you and what you don't wanna have sent to you. Those items are gonna get shipped to you for free, and you get to try them on in the comfort of your own home, and you'll decide what you like and what you don't like. If you keep at least one item from your box, then the $20 styling fee does get applied to whatever you're keeping. And if you keep all five items from your box, then you're going to get a 25% discount on the total cost of your box. I no longer have that $20 styling fee for each box because a few years ago, Stitch Fix offered me the Style Pass, which is where you pay $49 each year to have unlimited fixes sent to you throughout the year. Stitch Fix is doing a fix preview, and so about a week or so before your box is supposed to be shipped, you should get an email with about 10 items for you to look at to see if you wanna choose up to five items to put into your box. And so for this fix, I did choose all five items that are inside of this box. So we're gonna get into it to see what I got for this month. The first thing I see on top of my box is my prepaid mailer envelope. This envelope is used to send back anything that you don't wanna keep, or if you need to make any exchanges, you'll put those items inside of this bag. I really love that shipping is free both ways, which makes it really nice and convenient. You're also gonna have a white envelope, and inside that envelope is going to be your price invoice sheet, and this is fix number 57 for me, so I've been doing this for a while. And you're also gonna have your Oh Hello card. And so this card contains a note from your stylist, but it also gives styling suggestions for the items that are inside of your box. So I'm gonna read my note real quick. Welcome to today's fix, Jennifer. You've got great taste. I was excited to see that you had time to jump into your fix preview and that you were able to find five pieces that caught your eye. What made these stand out for you? I would love to know. Take some time to try everything on. If you have any feedback on any of the items, don't hesitate to share your thoughts with me when you check out. The more information you can send my way regarding fit, style, etc., the closer we'll get to finding you even more pieces you look and feel confident in. I'm looking forward to your thoughts and can't wait to jump in with you for your next fix. In the meantime, let me know if there is anything else I can keep an eye out for. Cheers, Tara. And so Kara was my stylist for a really long time. And then recently within the last few months, it has switched to Tara and both stylists have been doing a fantastic job. And so here's a look at my bundle and there is a piece of jewelry in there. So let's check it out. All right, so the first item on top is by 41 Hawthorne, the Lexi Pleat Front Blouse in Teal Green. And so here's what that blouse looks like. I just really love this teal color. I also really love a floral print, and so the floral print has like a red, a purple, a pink, and a white in it, so I'll get up close so you can see that. It does have the little pleats going down the front. It does have like the little keyhole with the button closure in the back. And I actually think that this top that I'm wearing is the same top, so these are really good tops for me to wear to work. And for some reason, I have just really been drawn to the colors and floral print in this top, so I thought I'd give it a try. So the second item is also by 41 Hawthorne, the Moray Split Neck Sleeveless Blouse in Navy. And both of these tops are polyester, but this one's more of a silky polyester and this one feels a little more crepey. And so here's this top. It has the split neck going down the front. It has a smaller floral print. The floral print has some light blue, some yellow, some cream, and some pink on a navy background, so there's an up close of the floral print. Just a really cute sleeveless top to wear to work or to wear casually with some jeans, so I really like that. All right, guys, the next item is by Daniel Rain, the Canny Lace Trim Knit Tank in White. So here is what that looks like. It has a really cute lace detail at the top. It is a white tank top, but it has like little polka dots. I think they are navy, but they could lean towards black. So that's what that looks like. It does have like the little button closure and keyhole in the back. 
It is very soft and stretchy. And I chose this one to go with the cropped pants that I selected from the Thicks preview. All right, the next item is by Nacamole, the Jacquard Teardrop Earring in Magenta. And I do not own any Nacamole pieces. And so here's what those look like. They're just a very sparkly drop earring. They have lots of different colors in them. There's like a magenta, a blue, a teal. It's got some pink in it. And it has like a little bit of a silver and gold. So I think those are just really pretty. I think they're gonna pair really well with the items that are in this box. I'm really trying to like build up my earring collection. I really don't wear a lot of necklaces or bracelets, but I really like earrings. And then the last item are the pants. They are by Cut From The Cloth, the Lauren Eco Crop Straight Leg Jean in Turquoise. And so here is the color. I just thought this was really pretty for spring and summer. I love Cut From The Cloth because they tend to fit me really well. They are a straight leg pant. They're gonna be cropped. They do have functioning pockets on the front and the back. And I just really think that these pants are gonna pair nicely with that little white tank top with the little polka dots, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna get ready to do a try on and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back with the first item and on top I have by 41 Hawthorne, the Lexi Pleat Front Blouse in Teal Green. And so I really love this teal color. I think the floral print is actually very pretty on it. It has like pink and red, a touch of purple, um, a little bit of blue and white. I really like the pleats and the little cap sleeve. I have this top in two other colors and prints and it's just a really good work blouse for me. It's made of polyester. It does come down nicely in the front. It has the little slips on the side and it does come down a little bit longer. This top is great for wearing to work, but I also could see dressing it down with a pair of light colored denim cropped pants, which is kind of the way that they have them styled in the style card. I just really like the colors in the print. You guys tell me what you think. I'm gonna try on those pants with one of the tops and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with the next two items. And on top I have by 41 Hawthorne, the Mori Split Neck Sleeveless Blouse in Navy. And then on bottom, I have the Cut From The Cloth Lauren Eco Crop Straight Leg Jean in Turquoise. All right, so we'll start with the top. It is that kind of crepey polyester, which I don't want. It does have the split neck. It does have some pleats right here that you may not be able to see. And it's a smaller floral print with like pink and yellow and light blue and white. I do think this top would pair very well with light colored denim or other colored jeans. I went ahead and put it with the turquoise pants just to save time. But like I said, I probably wouldn't put these two items together. Fits nicely under the arms. It does come down long enough. There's some stretch in here, so it must have a little bit of spandex. It kind of scoops up a little bit and then comes down a little bit longer in the back, which I like to cover my bottom. I'm gonna to try to get up close so you can see the floral print. You could wear it with white denim pants. I think this top just would pair well with a lot of different things. All right, guys, let's talk about these pants. They are turquoise, which I really love this color. They're a mid-rise, I would say, because they come just below my belly button. They do have working pockets in the front and working pockets in the back. They are cropped. So they come to like the middle of my shin. I really like the color of them. I think they're going to be perfect for spring and summer. And I think they're going to pair really nicely with that white tank top with the polka dots. So I'm going to try that on plus the earrings and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back with the last two items. And on top I have by Daniel Rain, the Canny Lace Trim Knit Tank in White. 
And I also have on the earrings, which are by Nacamole, the Jakar teardrop earring, and I'll show you those up close here in just a minute. So let's start with the tank. It is this really pretty white tank that has this really pretty lace detail at the top. I like the way it comes around the neck with that little band right there. It is kind of lacy, so it is a little bit see-through, but I don't think you can see through it very much. I do have on a white cami, and I would probably wear a skin-colored or nude-colored cami underneath of this. It has the really cute tiny polka dots, which look navy, but they also kind of look black, so I think you could wear it with navy or black. When I picked out this tank top, I was really thinking of pairing it with the turquoise pant, and so I think the two go well together. The tank top is very stretchy and soft. It does come down a little bit longer the back, which I prefer. Fits good under the arms. So I'm thinking this is probably a rayon spandex mix. Um, here are the earrings, which again, I picked these earrings thinking that it would pair well with the pants. And so I'm gonna get up close. They are very colorful, very pretty. They have that pretty turquoise color from the pant in them, but I think they would pair well with a lot of different colored tops and things like that. They're very lightweight. I thought they might be heavy, but they're not. So you guys tell me what you think about this. Cute little spring summer outfit, in my opinion. All right, guys, I'm gonna get changed and I'll be right back to do a recap and to talk about prices. All right, guys, I'm back to do a recap and to talk about some prices. And overall, I think this was a really good spring summer fix for me. And I'm leaning towards keeping everything, but you guys tell me what you think. First off on the list is by Daniel Rain, the Canny Lace Trim Knit Tank in White. And the cost of this is $58, which is pretty standard for Daniel Rain. So that was a white top that had the really pretty lace detail at the top. I did forget to turn around and show you that it does have just the polka dots on the back. I think it paired well with the turquoise pants. And I think it'll go well with a lot of different colored pants and jeans and things like that. So just a really versatile piece is what I'm thinking. All right, guys, next on the list are the earrings by Nakamo, the Jakar Teardrop Earring in Magenta. And the cost of the earrings are $38. And so here's what they look like up close. They have that really pretty turquoise color from the pant. I thought they paired well with that outfit. They have a lot of bright, vibrant colors that I think will be perfect for spring and summer. So those are really pretty. All right, guys, next on the list is by 41 Hawthorne, the Lexi Pleat Front Blouse in Teal Green, and the cost of that top is $40, and that's this top right here. I own this top in two other colors and prints, and I really love it for work, so I just was really drawn to the colors and the floral print in this one, so I just really like that one. Next is by 41 Hawthorne also, the Maureen Split Neck Sleeveless Top in Navy, and the cost of it is $38. And so that's this top right here with a really small floral print that has like the pinks and the yellows and the light blues. I think it's gonna pair well with light denim. It could go with any of these colored pants, like pink or yellow. I think it would look really good with a pair of white pants. So that's a really cute little top. And then lastly, I have by Cut From The Cloth, the Lauren Eco Crop Straight Pant in Turquoise, and the cost of these are $89. They are the most expensive thing in the box, but that's to be expected with Cut From The Cloth jeans. I like the cropped length for spring and summer. I really love this turquoise color. I thought it looked really cute with the white tank top with the little polka dots. The earrings match these pants perfectly. So they're very soft, very stretchy and comfortable to wear. All right guys, so the stylus pick subtotal is $263. If you buy all five items from your box, then you get a 25% discount, which would take off $65.75, leaving me with an order subtotal of $197.25. I did just renew my style pass for $49, so that will come off of this as well. So that would leave me with $148.25 if I'm doing my math correctly. So I think that's a really good deal for these items in my box. So you guys tell me what you think. What was your favorite item from my box? Would you keep all five items, which I think I'm going to do. I think they're perfect for me for spring and summer. I am gonna leave my referral link in the description box below. That would give you $25 off your first box. 
This is for first time men and women clients. And so what that would do is it would waive your styling fee so you wouldn't have to pay anything up front. The box would get shipped to you for free and then you would have $25 to put towards anything that you keep in your box. The best thing about Stitch Fix is you only pay for what you keep. So if you only keep one item, then you can apply that $25 towards whatever you're keeping and ship back everything else that you don't want. So if you have any questions about Stitch Fix, let me know. And until next time, bye guys.